Let's look at how we view model information in Winchell Modeler. So opening models, this can be done directly from inside the Winchell Modeler application, as shown in the screenshots. We also have a dedicated separate app called Model Explorer, and essentially it's the same user interface that allows us to view and manage models. You can also open models from the recent models list that's on the start page inside Modeler. To access model information, there are several browsers. So we can see in the uh, images that we have a packages browser, and this shows the package hierarchy and the contents of those packages. In the image, we can see use cases and use case diagrams. We have a diagrams browser where we can see diagrams of specific types in the example, we can see block definition diagrams. And this provides another way to easily locate information. We can traverse relationships from model items. In the image on the bottom left, we can see the relationships browser, which allows us to locate a model item and then expand and navigate the relationships from a use case to a requirement in this instance. We can also use the find function to go and find an item in any of these different browsers. This provides a really easy, nice way to navigate through the different browsers in Winchell Modeler. When you select a model item or a diagram, the properties pane displays the properties information for that item. So you'll typically see the name, the full name, the item type, last changed information, visibility, and then any other properties that are specific to that item type. Under the items tab, you'll see related items, and you can use the drop down to select different relationships and then see the list of items that are related in the window. Other information panes, the contents, results, favorites, so to easily navigate to items, you can add items or diagrams to the favorites list. And there's a diagram thumbnail. So for very complex diagrams, you can use the diagram thumbnail to help you zoom and scroll around the diagram. These panes can be docked, so they're stationary. They can be floating, so you can resize and move them. You can resize and reposition quite easily. So the Windows toolbar allows you to arrange these different windows and provides functions to help you manage the layout. So you can toggle the properties, reset the layout, refresh browsers, and this will refresh the content and get the latest data from um, the database. You can choose sorting options and then navigate to specific panes if you have multiple open. Diagrams are a very important way of defining a system or software model. They provide a visual representation of the design of the system or the software. Excellent for communication and also a very easy way to construct models in a logical manner that could be easily understood and easily designed. So we have several different tools for, to help users work with diagrams, diagram specific toolbars, the view toolbar where we can apply things like diagram filtering, view options, we can print our diagrams as well. So it's a very easy way of understanding the design through the visual representation of the system or the software model. So let's take a look at a demonstration. We'll open a model, resize some window panes, move and relocate them reset the layout, look at some properties, and then look at a diagram.
The find function allows you to locate items and diagrams within the current model. There are different param parameters that you can specify. You can filter on specific types when things were changed. Another way to help us locate information in Winchell model are the user roles feature. So to provide a focused UI for different types of user interfaces, we have user roles. These will hide information from the system or software model that's not relevant to that type of user. So in the example we see here, there's a requirements author. Well, this type of user will need to be able to see and manage all of the requirements type information. They may not be so interested in some of the system model information, such as blocks, ports, activities. So that kind of information can be hidden from those users. That way they'll see a very streamlined experience when they browse the model. We have keyboard shortcuts. So as users become more familiar with the software and then able to trigger functions quickly, often they start to use keyboard shortcuts for these. And we have a big long list of um, the shortcuts that are available in the help. Another great way to access model information is through the web interface. Certainly if you don't have Winchell Modeler, the full application on your system, you can share model information using a web browser and access the shared repository live. So this isn't a copy of the database or the model, this is actually retrieving the information from the database and displaying it in the web browser. It's very easy to browse databases models that you have access to, then the packages and the contents of those models. And as we see in the screenshot, we can also see the diagrams as well that are in the model. On the right hand side, we can view all of the metadata, the properties for selected items or diagrams. So if you're completing this as part of a training course, we can go through these steps to open one of the example models, resize, move, relocate window panes, reset the layout, view the properties for a model item, open a diagram, review the toolbars, explore the find function, and then try out a user role and observe the effects. And then try and learn some of the keyboard shortcuts as well. That's the end of this module.